Hi everybody. Today we're going to actually look at how we can use a mini PCI mini PCI card usually found uh, found in one of these uh, laptops which have wireless connectivity. This one actually broke down some time back and uh, I was just using some of its components one by one and I happened to find you know the wireless card which was actually a plug-in card. Initially I just thought um, you know this is this is something like one of those mini PCI Express cards which you can just plug into your desktop but it actually didn't work you know and uh, I, I did some research online and then found out that this was actually a mini PCI card and lucky for me I actually happened to browse eBay eBay.com and found you know an adapter which I can use to plug this in right and you might ask me why am I using this when I can just go ahead and buy a you know desktop PCI card now a lot of times you would notice that uh, these desktop wireless cards they're usually uh, you know not very high end, high end whereas if you get one of these cards uh, probably this is the 5 series you're looking at uh, not really one of those high end ones but if you if you get something like the 6 or 7 series you might be able to get a card which has wireless as well as bluetooth integrated into it and the best part about this card even though this is at least about 2 years old is that it's a dual band card it works on the 2.4 gigahertz as well as the 5 gigahertz frequency whereas the basic desktop card which you get for your PCI uh, Express slot just has one band most of the times and even if you do manage to get a dual band one it's it's very expensive so if you if you do happen to get one of these uh, from your old laptops don't throw them away you can just use them uh, put it into one of these adapters this is about uh, eight dollars on eBay so this you, as you can see this has got three slots in uh, whereas this is just got uh, this is just a basic card but I ordered one of these high-end uh, cards uh, card holders so that you know if I do want to upgrade in the future I can still use them so all I need to do is just slot this inside all right and this would go into my mini PCI card in my desktop so let me show you the difference so this is the size of your desktop PCI Express card the, uh, you know the mini one and this is the actual size of the laptop mini PCI card and there's a big difference right so just let, let's go ahead and see if we, we can actually assemble this and you know make it work on a desktop so I, I went ahead and inserted this card inside and as you can see uh, there's a slight angle when you actually uh, put this into the slot. Now I remember seeing a similar thing happen in my desktop as well, uh, in my laptop as well. So what you actually need to do is if you see these two slots here you need to actually add a screw there you know in this slot here and uh, this will probably hold back for some time. Uh, so see as you can see it's a threaded uh, slot there. So you just need to add a screw there to hold this in place and you would see, see if you look closely you can see the numbers 1 and 2 where it actually shows you uh, the place where you can connect these antennas. You have three slots so you can use any one of them and then I would connect them to these external antennas which they have actually given with this set as well. So you can add these here and they have also given me a cover to actually uh, close the whole thing so that you know you just protect it from dust or somebody accidentally uh, pulling it apart so yeah let me just assemble this and uh, let's see how so it there it is uh, I have actually put in you know the chip onto the board uh, I found I, I couldn't find the actual original screw so I used one of the CPU uh, screws here so just make sure that you know you don't lose any of these uh, screws when you actually remove them from the laptop because uh, you're going to have trouble fixing things back. So uh, I'm going to connect the antenna right now and see how it's going to uh, knock out. Now I have just, it, it's just a dual band uh, Wi-Fi card so I just have two slots so I'm probably going to use the ones on the edge and leave the middle one for the you know, future upgrade. So both antennas are plugged in. I'm actually going to put the cover on 
So they've given us a spare, you know, aluminium cover so that you can just protect these. Maybe when you're actually putting it into your desktop, you might end up, you know, uh, pulling them out accidentally. So it's better you put on the cover as well. So once you've done that, your card is practically ready to actually be installed on the desktop. So this is how it looks once it has, it's all closed up and uh, the box isn't that great you know uh, I couldn't actually fit this onto the fit all everything inside the box and you know put on these two clamps but I've still managed to just keep half of it on so that it protects the chip and uh, you have three antennas at the back so once it's fixed to the desktop this is how it's going to work. So the card is actually now secure you can see that. I barely got some space in between uh, these two slots and now it's actually secured. I'm going to fix these antennas here now and uh, power it up and just find out if it actually works. There you go, it's actually even detected it. I've, I've just started my PC and uh, there you see uh, it, it's actually showing up the Intel Wi Fi link 5100AGN. It's amazing. Uh, I haven't even connected the antenna and it's already showing me uh, some of the available networks. So yeah, great stuff this. I don't think anybody's even uh, trying some of these things. You should probably use uh, one of these bi laptop Wi-Fi cards. It's, it's really good. I think they're really powerful and give you a lot more features than what you get on a desktop card. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks.